Remember when I said I was gonna wait a few days to work on the steering column? Well, I got bored, it's late at night, I can't really cut, grind, and weld to make a bunch of noise, so came out to the garage to work and take apart the steering column. Let's see where we're at. Thanks to someone else on YouTube, I found a quick tutorial on how to take apart the steering column. It really wasn't too bad. A couple different screws and some retainers and things like that. And that's all that's really holding it together is a couple of those nuts and bolts there. Um, pretty common tools just to kind of fiddle with it and take it apart. Probably about 45 minutes total. I already marked, I need to cut out five inches of this tube and then I need to leave an inch and a half of the double D which sticks out at the end there. Um, sticking out after I cut everything, I have to adjust and cut this tube as well, which the double D slides inside of here. So next up is cutting. Back at it on the GM Universal Tilt Steering Column that I had to shorten for my 1965 F100 Project Noreen. Be sure to check out the other videos, shorts, etc. Like and subscribe and follow if you like this build and other fabrication type videos. So what do we got is that we had to shorten this column four inches. So I ended up cutting here. As you can see, I marked it very nicely. <laughs> ended up going four inches shorter on the column. This is the main column overall once it's assembled. This is the inner tube. Uh, this I ended up cutting here, shortening the four inches, welding back together, grinding, painting. This is the double D end that connects to the electric uh, Prius steering uh, unit. And I had to cut four inches off of here, of course. So this goes inside of this tube and spins around. Um, and we'll connect up, obviously, all the wiring and stuff I had to put the, back together and all the little pieces. I'll show you the finished product when I'm all done. In putting this back together, I wanted to let all of you know what a huge pain in the you know what it is to fish the wire through here. But what I figured out early on that, and by early on, I mean about like five minutes ago, even though I've been doing this for about an hour. What I figured out was that fishing it two wires at a time was helpful. So I have a strand here that was hard. This was three wires to pull through. And I separated the wires and extended them and changed sizes. And I used a coat hanger that I straightened out, fed it through the column because then it comes in a very tight space under here and then inside the column to fit through here so it's not affected when you're turning the wheel. Anyways, use the coat hanger, fish it through, lube it up, use the tape, two wires at a time. It's a little tedious, but take your time. It's totally worth it. Made it much easier. Now I'm done, I can finally finish assembling this column and get it back in the truck. So before I forget, here's the column all back together. And I taped and used shrink wrap uh, heat tubing in here as well. I pulled the wires out and then, you know, shrinked it and put it back in so it's uh, safe and protected. And these are all looped together for my left, right turn signal, etc. Looking good, can't wait to get it back in the truck. Total length on this now is 25 and a half inches. If they had a 26 inch column, I obviously would have purchased that, but buying a custom column is about $1,000 or more. On eBay, I found the shortest column was a 28 inch. There was at one point in time, I saw a 16 inch column, but then I would have had to use additional products to make that work. So I elected to do this instead. I like how it came out though. It's custom to the truck now. Woo, it's been a minute, but we are getting rolling today with some fabrication. Finally finished up the steering column. Got this shortened four inches and it sits nice right there. There's my tack light. Steering is in with the horn button. I got my turn signal left, right, all that stuff. I got tilt on here. Ooh, nice. Can't wait to take her out for a test drive. I still got this thing that I have to wrap up the rear suspension. More updates to come soon. Like, follow, subscribe for more content.